Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm pretty much going to give you guys an idea of like the winter plans this year. And first we're going to start off by talking about the skyline. Jesus and I initially planned on filming the whole process of taking off the head of the skyline but we have such limited time and we just wanted to get it done because it's been six plus months at this point and the car keeps getting pushed back. So we just went ahead and knocked it out. Right here we got the head. We still have to take some little things off here. We got the camshafts and stuff like that. We will be taking off the exhaust manifold and whatnot we're not going to fully disassemble the head yet we want to talk to the machine shop to see how they would like it because at the minimum we're going to resurface the head but since it's already off we thought it might be a good idea just to go ahead and freshen it up because everything else on this engine has been extremely neglected again though we'll just see what the machine shop says i mean we don't have any plans to do like big power or anything like that we just want nice and reliable well here is the engine as you get further back it gets worse and worse cylinder six man that's where the head gasket failed catastrophic as Asus and I took the engine apart, we actually were looking for what potentially caused the head gasket to fail. And we have two theories. Theory number one is that the car overheated because the cooling system was so neglected. So there was just heaps and heaps of corrosion all throughout the cooling system, which obviously isn't going to make it work very well. And potentially that could cause it to overheat and could have caused the head gasket to go. The second thing that could have possibly caused the head gasket to go is that underneath the intake manifold, there's actually a hose there and it had a rip in it. So what I'm thinking potentially happened is that I was driving, the hose failed, caused the coolant to come out, and overheated the engine, which would have caused the head gasket failure. Now, the reason why I can't blame that 100% is because Asus and I did not notice that hose was ripped until after we removed the head. And I did go through all the photos because I took a million of them just to make sure I knew where everything went back as we put it back together. But that still didn't give me a definitive answer also because it's possible Asus and I could have ripped it as we we're taking stuff apart. Definitely let me know your thoughts on that one. The next thing for Asus and I to do on the sky line is clean it up obviously because like there's a bunch of corrosion and just gunk and stuff like that and then kind of just wait so we have some parts on back order on top of waiting on parts we actually are going to have to get some things repaired as well right here is the lower portion of the intake manifold here is actually where a coolant hose attaches to this is pretty corroded so that's something we're going to have to get switched out we can easily cut that off but we don't have any equipment for welding so we're going to have to take that into a shop and there's just other minor little things like that that we're going to have to address before we put everything back together. Well, everyone, I got some really bad news. Off camera, I decided to start cleaning up the engine just a little bit. I took the head gasket off. I started cleaning the crud off of there because that was just oil mixed with coolant. And that's where things went south real quick. Here is cylinder number one. Besides the carbon deposit that's on it, it looks like it's in relatively good shape. Now, if we come back here to cylinder number six, I cleaned up the crud that was on it. But look at this right here. This little area next to my thumb, there's actually a little chunk of the piston missing. We have a little piece of metal just rolling around somewhere in the engine. So <sighs> that, yeah, that just took things to a different level in terms of like what we have to do. It's not just a simple head gasket replacement anymore. And what's going through my head is the fact that I was the one driving it. Maybe my thought is I, I sell the Acti to help pay for the repairs because this is expensive, man. This is not cheap. And it's not like Jesus can just go buy another Skyline. He would lose a bunch of money on it. But on top of that, these things have gone up in value like crazy. I mean, obviously his is not one of those ones that are going to cost a hundred plus thousand dollars but in good running shape you know i don't think he'd be in a position to afford one right now it's an intimidating thing for asus me and him had some candid conversations so when i blew the head gasket initially he was intimidated to go in there because he's never done anything like that and that makes sense man it's it's a pretty big job you know and if you mess something up it can be costly and now to have to take things a step further and deal with the bottom end that could be very intimidating it sucks too because he he paid the premium because he wanted to get a nice one that he could just drive but i guess the reality of the situation is when you're buying a car sight unseen. It's honestly a gamble. Sometimes things just don't go your way, man. As I'm filming this, Jesus is actually working, so I'm gonna have to give him a call in the morning. I hope he keeps it, because I really want to see this thing back on the road so he can have his dream car. Jesus and I initially thought that we'd have the Skyline up and running by December, and like, we're actually being generous and giving ourselves extra time just because, you know, things come up and the parts issues we've been having and whatnot. But with that piston now, oh, oh Lord, man, that's gonna be expensive. So I don't, I don't know. What I can say for certain, though is that that pushes the other projects back because this space here is really the only space that we can do this type of work on because at my house anything past like changing out oil I would actually get in trouble. I definitely will be adjusting the timeline for the white MR2 and the V6 MR2. I really want to drive especially the track days and the V6 MR2 would honestly overheat and blow up 
So my plan is this winter for this car, I'll actually address the cooling system issues. So new water pump, new thermostat. Um, the water pump actually was replaced like five years ago last. The thermostat's more recent, but anyways, new water pump, new thermostat. I'll also put a new radiator in it. And on top of that, I'll fix the coolant link. I think between those things, it will be perfectly fine for track usage. Ever since I overheated at the track, it actually hasn't had a single issue. There's no mixing of the oil and coolant. So I'm very happy. I'm also kind of shocked because I overheated it so bad. I would think that I did some type of damage, but I guess I just got really lucky. I, I don't know how else to put it. The V6 MR2 is not here, but um, I did want to talk about that because with this being pushed back, that means the V6 MR2 is pushed back, but I want to keep autocrossing it. So what I'm going to do there is actually replace the clutch. And also I'm going to pull out the injectors and clean them. Besides that though, the V6 MR2 is going to be left alone. I'm going to try to keep my cost to a minimum for that car and this car, mainly because I want to try to help Asus out financially with the Skyline. Well, that's everything I got for this video. And it's honestly not what I, I expected. I, I really didn't think that the piston was going to be messed up like that. I don't know how Asus is going to want to move forward because ultimately it is his car. And it'd be nice just to throw a new set of pistons in there. But the fact is, you know, there's a little chunk of metal somewhere in that engine. But I mean, that's that's just how it is sometimes. So thank you guys for watching. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.